In this video, we're going to look at how we can embed apps into Microsoft Teams. Now, there may be one bit of integration that you need to switch on, and you can see where it is. So I'm in the Power Apps portal, and I go to Admin Center, and then I click on the relevant environment, go to Settings at the top. On the right-hand side, we go to Integration and Microsoft Teams integration, that's different from Teams integration settings. If you want model-driven apps to be embedded in Microsoft Teams, then you'll need to ensure that this is switched to on. Now, let's just have a look and see how to embed apps into Microsoft Teams. So click on Teams, and you can see my team channel is general. And we've got posts, files, and wiki running across the top. We've also got a plus. So we can add tabs here, and I can add a Power Apps. So if I click on Power Apps, on the right hand side, it says My Apps. And so I can click on, say, the Account Apps. So make sure your team can use the app. You may need to share access. So I'm just going to click on Save. You notice the option is to create an app in Power Apps. And then after a few seconds, it loads up. And then we can view accounts and all the other functionality that we expect from the app. So that's adding a Canvas app, technically known as embedding, as a tab app. So it's up here in the tabs. Now, let's do the same thing with a model-driven app. And you may notice that the model-driven apps aren't actually listed in here. So we have one called Accounts and Expenses. So what I have to do is click on My Apps and go down to Model-Driven Apps. And there we will have Accounts and Expenses. Note that just as in the previous Canvas app, we have a post to the channel about this tab. So when you install it, you can create a post. So. That's how we can install these as tabs. And you can see the posts here, by the way, that we were talking about. However, there is another way of doing this. And that is to go to the Power Apps portal, go to Apps, find your Canvas app, click on the dot, dot, dot next to it, and you've got Add to Teams. Notice that this option, which is also at the top, doesn't appear for model-driven apps. It's for Canvas apps. So if I add to Teams, and you can see that you can edit details. So if you want to add things such as a description, you can do that by going to App, and there is the description. Additionally, we can click on Advanced Settings, and you can put in some developer information as well. So I'm going to click on Add to Teams. And it's asking me permission to open Microsoft Teams. So I'll say yes. And you can see it says this particular app is an app built using Power Apps. And it's going to be a personal app as opposed to a tab app. So I'm just going to click on add. And you've got the options add to a team, add to chat. And here you can see it is now as a standalone app. So if I go somewhere and then come back, you can see that here we have the app which we can just launch. So the tab app goes at the top of a particular channel and you add a new one by clicking on the add button next to it. However, personal apps, which you go through the dot 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 here to find an app, you embed it as a personal app by going to the Power Apps portal. And this is for Canvas apps. Now, there are a few limitations of using apps inside Microsoft Teams. Firstly, image and PDF files can only be loaded over secure connections, so HTTPS, so secure. The same sort of connection that banks use, for instance. Not all sensors, such as acceleration, compass, location, are supported. So you won't necessarily be able to see how fast you're driving or which direction you're driving in. There's a reduced list of audio formats that are supported, AAC, H.264, Audio, Vorbis, and WAV, the WAV format. 
most notably absent from that list, MP3. There are a few things that can't be used in Teams, address input, map, mixed reality, and Power BI tile controls. And additionally, there are a few things that can't be used in Teams Mobile, the barcode control and the camera control, but you can use the add picture control instead. The microphone control will work in Microsoft Teams using the MP4 or AAC format with its own recording experience and will be limited to a maximum of 10 minutes. So here are two ways that you can add your apps into Microsoft Teams. For both Canvas and model-driven apps, you can add it to a channel by clicking on the plus. You may need to enable the allow model-driven apps to be embedded within Microsoft Teams. For Canvas apps, you can have it as a standalone app by going to the Power Apps portal, going to the dot, 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 click on Add to Teams, and then Add to Teams. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then why not like it? Or why not subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.